Now, we've already dipped our toes into the water earlier on in the programme when we looked at endangered predators off our shores. And we're heading back to the water for a brilliant idea to encourage school children to step away from their PlayStations and get back to nature. Fishing for Schools was launched here last year, dedicated to transforming the lives of disadvantaged children and young people by giving them a fishing line and pointing them in the direction of the countryside. And joining me now to tell me more about it is David Thompson from the Ulster Angling Federation, Charles Jardine from cr- the creator of Fishing for Schools, and Joe Kelly, Principal of Sacred Heart Primary School at The Rock in Dungannon. Hello to you, gentlemen. Good morning. First of all, morning. I'm going to go straight to you, Charles, because you are the creator <laughs> for Fishing for Schools, so we're going to have to find out a wee bit more about it. Well, um... Yeah, yeah, it was an odd idea created about 17 years ago where um, it just brought a group of people together and uh, all educationalists and said, look, you know, we've got an opportunity here. And it came out of one school's plea to do something with kids that were excluded, basically. And um, <clears throat> we thought, well, most people like to fish and um, why not let's give this a shot and from that one school in Tewkesbury in Gloucestershire, uh, we've now got 30-odd active schools. We're oversubscribed. We've launched in the north, which is fantastic. I mean, to get it into Northern Ireland has always been a dream and an ambition. And here we are, and uh, we've got lots, well, many thousands of young people that have benefited over the years. Um, I started fishing when I was, I think, probably three or four is my earliest recollection, um, and caught that magnificent species, the perch. Everyone, um, I think, that I talked to, their first fish is a perch. Um, There's a lot of them down round Fermanagh. There there really are. (laughs) And, um, you know, I can't wait actually to get back to um, Northern Ireland. I'm doing the fly show there uh, later on this year, and it's always a treat. Um, But... I mean, it, it's not just fishing. It's an immersion into the natural world. It, it takes you to places that you never thought possible. Um, it gives you opportunities you never believed possible. So it's not just fishing, and it never was, and I don't think it ever will be. Um, what it is, and it's it's an exciting adventure. We use the word a lot now, but it really is a journey. It's an adventure. And that's what we want young people to do and have. And um, and so many people can benefit from it. Um, but also the parents too, or, or the people, other people in young people's lives can join along in that celebration of the great outdoors. Yeah, it's, it's a great thing to give to young people because as I mentioned in the queue, we're all sort of chained to our our telephones, we're chained to our computer screens, etc. So to get out and about and enjoy the countryside is, is really a big thumbs up. And Children who have benefited from this fishing for schools are children at The Rock in Dungannon and that's in the Sacred Heart Primary School and Joe Kelly, the principal, is on the line now. Joey, tell me about what the children there have learned. The, the impact on the children here has been unbelievable. Since Monday, we had our first session on Monday morning and since that, the amount of children in the school who've come to me asking me to sign up to this. Unfortunately, we only had four funded sessions but the impact that the children have had on the rest of the children in the school, and particularly even the parents on the ground have come to me since then, this has been an unbelievable initiative. You said it at the very start, is to get the children away from the screens. All, they, all they're used to now is instant, uh, instant uh, um, tablets and instant apps. You know, being there on Monday, seeing it firsthand, seeing, you'll see in our social media, the, the surprised look on the children's faces of being able to catch a perch be able to catch a fish and the whole therapeutic side of it as well where they're sitting there in complete calmness ready for for the catch and how many children did you have out fishing and whereabouts did you go to fish over the summer i i had um and put, put our names forward for this and very luckily we we got accepted and we had um we had over 35 children looking on and i could only take 16. oh no so Yes, I know that. But look, hopefully during the future, the Charles and with the Ulster Angling Federation that we can get more funding for this <coughs> to bring. I would love to bring the whole school. But look, it's we went to Anna Jenny Park Farm. I'm lucky enough to be from a place called Loch McCrory where fishing is heavily orientated. And um, I thought something different. We're in a, in a wee rural school here in the Rock, I'd say, in County Tyrone. And it's very GAA heavily orientated as well. So I thought something different. 
something different for the boys and girls to get them out, to get them ar- around nature. And Annie Jenny Park Farm was absolutely fantastic. It was my first time there. And one thing about it, I will be back. The yeah. second group's now going on Monday and they just can't wait. They well, can't wait to get out. Well, Joey, you've done a great job there at pushing for extra funding there and trying to get <laughs> some more money out of it. And you mentioned David, David Thompson. You're from the Ulster Angling Federation. You're listening to that. That must do your heart so much good, David, because you are joined up with Charles in this Fishing for Schools. Yes, Nicola, absolutely. I mean, uh, even to work with somebody like Charles, who is somebody I've looked up to uh, most of my angling life, uh, you know, reading, starting reading his books and reading his articles and magazines, and now eventually getting the opportunity to work with them. Um, it's and, and indeed bringing that across the world to work with a federation that can only give us a, a level of, of standing within the community when we are trying to promote the likes of this. Um, I mean, it, it is an honour that the, the federation have been chosen to deliver this in partnership with the countryside alliance ireland and because david you can get so much from fishing and i suppose a lot of the time people think oh you just go and you sit in the chair and mm. you know it's it's mind-numbingly boring but it actually gives you so much you're out in nature uh you are it's headspace it's about that that mental health whenever it comes to um improving your life but that I, I'll totally agree with you, and, and even coming into the two points that uh, Joey made and uh, Charles um, about taking them away from devices, I, I, I'd like to credit to one of our coach coaches, uh, Mark Tierney, who always uses the term um, "it's tackle boxes, not Xboxes," <laughs> and that's that's give us a little bit of uh, that's give us a little bit of mileage over the years. But it, you, you're you're right; it's not not just about the fishing; it's it's actually that outdoor classroom environment and you know it brings opportunities for young people to, to learn not only valuable skills in angling but the themes of uh, outdoor education wildlife environmental conservation and you know they're, they're learning things like not only just the uh, casting techniques but they're learning things like fish species um different bird life uh, and, and and even a better understanding of aquatic ecosystems but then you've got to look at the other things they're learning uh, water safety also Mm-hmm. And these are key aspects for for lifelong learning that um, the children can take into, you know, when, once they grow up, even being safe around the water's edge. But like some of the species we've seen, even on Monday there, um, was quite interesting. You know, some some children hadn't seen kingfisher before. There was heron. There's been, uh, in fact, there was two herons having a fight, which is quite, uh, <laughs> quite, quite remarkable. Um, but it, we're looking at different, different things, different uh, aspects of wildlife, and it's great. And and even some of the children who are participating on these programs, I know Joey, uh, the the Rock Primary or uh, Sacred Heart Rock, are more predominantly rural, and and they suffer elements of rural isolation. We go from the other extreme too, where we have uh, predominantly urban schools taking part. Uh, I know we had St Gerard's in Belfast out uh, recently, and we took them up to the Northern Ireland Cross Community Anglin. Uh, Beach Hill facility, which is deep in the Arts uh, Peninsula. But when we look at that, some of these children haven't really been outside of an urban environment either. You know, not and and it, it's really really good to expose them to it, and and you start to see changes to their behaviour and how receptive they are to different environmental um, exposure. And it, it it is really really rewarding, and even to witness the changes in their behaviours and see the smiles in their faces and. Even the even the children who have participated with special educational needs, how receptive they are to different uh, the different uh, aspects of the environment. It's it's a really rewarding program to participate in. Yeah, you can't beat a good bit of fresh air, so you can't, David. David, if there's anybody listening to this, any schools, any principals, even parents who want to get involved in fishing for schools, how do they get in contact, or how do they get their name in there? The best, the, the best aspect would be to maybe contact the, if go to the www.fishingforschools.co.uk and certainly find a bit of information about that. Um, the, and when the next wave of funding comes live, I'm sure Charles will let, let ourselves know. And, and if you go onto the Ulster Anglin Federation website, we will, we will also push the same. Um, as soon as it can be. But charges is maybe a better place. Nicola, to... if it's any help, um, we've got applications coming in now, but 
as is always the case, I always find myself terribly emotional at times like this, and listening to this has only fueled that. And um, Joey, I will make absolutely certain that you have funding somehow to get other kids from your school through to go fishing. Um, that's my pledge to you. Oh, Joey, you see Thank it, you, Charles. It, it worked, it wow. worked. <laughs> All you have to do is send me the next fish that you catch. Um, I'm, I'm going to get killed good. for this. I really am. I really am. And Charles, I have to ask you, because I ask all fishermen this, tell me what's the biggest fish you've ever caught? Um, the next one. <laughs> Very good answer. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me on Countryside that this week. That's Charles, Joey and David telling me all about that fantastic initiative called Fishing for Skills. Thank you. Thank you. Libby, that was absolutely amazing to hear so much enthusiasm, particularly from that headmaster. Yeah, I mean, you got caught up in his excitement <laughs> for the did. whole thing. Um, and even when you read the children's reviews on the website, I mean, it's just mind-blowing. This is such an exciting scheme. Yeah, and...